Hi, I'm Chris Higgins. And I'm Lindell Higgins, and we're from GiveOxygen.com. In this video, we are going to tell you who we are about GiveOxygen.com and information that we think will be relevant to you to help you feel more prepared to fight and deal with COVID-19. We've fortunately and unfortunately had a lot of experience in this realm, so we decided to share it. So over the past 10 years as entrepreneurs, we've co-founded over five companies. We've built from the ground up 14 different products and got them distributed. Um, and we have several patents to our name. Another reason that we were drawn to this is because of Chris's medical history. He has had a few lung collapses and he's had problems with asthma his whole life and he's had pneumonia before. And through that process, we've actually learned a lot about respiratory health and maintenance. And we have so many wonderful tools that we decided would be really important to share with people. And also I am a performer. So I also come from a mechanical understanding of the respiratory system. And we wanted to share that with everybody. So we started GiveOxygen.com because there was an obvious ventilator shortage. Um, the numbers were such that a lot of people were needing ventilators and there was just going to be a huge gap in that fulfillment. Um, it was right at the beginning of Tesla and GM and these companies coming on board to build them. Those ventilators are legitimate and obviously take a lot of time to be manufactured. Then there were other companies attempting to make cheaper and easier to manufacture ventilators, which is great, but we were looking around and saw that there was an opportunity to even fill the gap more than it already was. Yeah, the MIT projects, the Spanish projects, those are all great ideas and great technologies, but they do require manufacturing facilities. They're a little too complicated for kind of a distributed um, at-home builder, a distributed network of at-home builders to build and, and deliver these devices. And we were thinking that everybody is at home and I think everybody wants to help and everybody needs a project. And we wanted to have a design that someone could actually make in their garage and deliver to a hospital. Once we started talking to medical professionals in the United States and a couple of Mexican nonprofits, it was clear that people weren't really giving any information on what to do before you go to the hospital or what, bef what to do before you need a ventilator. Hospitals were already turning people away and they said, come back when you can't breathe. Well, that, that misses so much. It doesn't teach people what you could do earlier on in the disease in order to turn it around, in order to mitigate it just with different practices and, and exercises you can do. And there was an obvious gap and need for people to have this information. And since we have, unfortunately, or fortunately, a lot of experience in this area, we decided to gather all of the information that we had to put it into one place for people to watch and learn. All right, so in this video, we're gonna give you a little bit of an overview on what's found on the website. Essentially, information on PPE, breathing exercises, measuring your oxygen, and what happens in the hospital and what tools are given to you in the hospital. In this separate PPE video, we'll go over the important elements in a mask and what is important to protect yourself from germ transfer. So being a germaphobe our whole lives, um, both of us brought that t to the relationship. Um, we had a leg up on PPE, so. And we'll also talk about mindset, what I think is a productive mindset to keep germs out and to keep healthy in. So my favorite topic. Breathing exercises. We have a separate video for this and it is very important to be as healthy and as strong as possible when you are about to do anything physically strenuous and getting pneumonia and getting coronavirus is extremely physically strenuous. That video will go over appropriate breathing techniques that will help you get stronger. Another important tool that also has a separate video is how to measure your oxygen levels. Essentially, when you get pneumonia, the problem is that your lungs cannot take a full breath, so your body starts to become deprived of oxygen and your organs shut down. That is the instance that's leading to death. 
So right now, hospitals are telling you not to come to the hospital until you can't breathe. Well, that's kind of a scary situation to somebody who hasn't had respiratory issues. I have, and uh, I kind of know when even if I can't breathe, my oxygen level is actually okay. So if you can measure your oxygen uh, and be calmed by the fact that you're still at, you know, 96 plus percent oxygen, you're okay. You can stay home. You can do the breathing exercises. You can try to heal yourself on your own. But it's a scary situation when you can't breathe and you're not used to that. During this crisis, if you do have to unfortunately go to the hospital, um, you probably have a bit of pneumonia, you probably have a little trouble breathing. So when you go, they're gonna do a couple things for you. They will automatically obviously put you on oxygen, that's when the oxygen tube goes into your nose, and then if that's not enough, they might graduate you to a CPAP machine where you have a mask on your face, and they're blowing the oxygen into your respiratory system and then finally if that doesn't work they'll put you on a ventilator a ventilator is going to provide you a high oxygen concentration and really push your lungs to uh, to breathe to, to oxygenate your bloodstream so that your other organs don't fail um, it literally works in conjunction in conjunction with oxygen in order to keep your alveoli open and to keep your lungs pumping because there's so much fluid in there there's not a lot of opportunity for your lungs to oxygenate your bloodstream themselves. It is essentially a machine that breathes for you when you can't. We have a couple other videos about our ventilator design and the thoughts that went into it if you'd like to check it out. Thanks for watching and I hope this information helps.